Hello there and welcome to this video on seances, physical mediumship and beyond. So what is ectoplasm? Ectoplasm is a substance that is formed inside the physical body of, of the medium. Uh, from spirit what they've told us is that it forms in the pancreas first of all and then comes out at different orifices of the body. Orifices being the nose, the mouth, the ears, the, the belly button, under the fingernails. Um, there is no limit to where it can and can't come out of. Um, however, why it flows out of there, I believe that the medium's form is acting like a portal, a place where it allows energy to be built up and then this substance comes out. Now, ectoplasm is a physical substance. It's semi-physical, semi-fluid. It is very strong. It, it contains a lot of energy. Um, and the ectoplasm doesn't, doesn't just come from the medium. The physical mediums produce a lot of ectoplasm but the energies of the sitters act like batteries. So um, they charge the, the medium, not intentionally, but the spirit team of, of the circle will often, um, the spirit team are working in spirit um, of like guides, past over loved ones, will then energize the people sitting to then take that energy and store it into the medium. So like, unlike working with um, uh, the new way, like Skull Experiment did, working with the non-physical energies and not ectoplasm, they would store this energy in, in a glass chamber for then it to be utilized afterwards. However, working with ectoplasm, um, it can come in many different shapes and forms and colors. The raw state of ectoplasm is black, and when it is then absorbed, the photons in the room in complete darkness, even though it's complete darkness, Maybe you've seen this before in darkness where you've seen some like fuzzy white noise in a darkened space. That's because there are light photons in the room and the light photons are then absorbed from the spirit team and then, or you know, spirit and then put into the medium, into the ectoplasm form. So from the raw form of ectoplasm, which is black, I've seen it change, go black, gray, then white. Um, ectoplasm can be very sticky to, to the touch, it can be very damp, clammy, cold, warm. It can also be very smooth. It can change shape and structure, uh, solidity, solidity um, and strength. <laughs> I've shook hands with ectoplasmic hands before who are very, very strong. They've picked up objects. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's something that we're still trying to understand till this day what uh, ectoplasm is and what it does. There was uh, some experiments done, I believe it was Italy, I can't remember, of a seance uh, or a medium many years ago where they had um, hot or warm wax in, in a bucket and then these ectoplasmic hand forms would go into the bucket and produce themselves and then it would um, shrink again and then leave this uh, solid hand print and then those wax molds were then filled with uh, plaster of Paris or, a, or like a clay, um, sorry, like a, a more denser object to form the mold. And then after you could even see um, delicate um, fingerprints as well and, and mines and people that had like fingers missing, for example, I don't have a finger missing, I just bent it. People who had fingers missing back when, you know, they were alive, they were producing forms where you know, they had missing fingers and, and everything, and you could see the full forms, which was very, very interesting. Um, but that form of mediumship is, is quite rare, it takes a lot of energy to produce. Um, we've had also a, a tray of wax, and we've had uh, some handprints put on, as well as Play-Doh during uh, some other seances. So we've seen imprints of ectoplasmic hands being put into, into physical form and left, left an imprint. And this does take a lot of energy um, because again, spirit, their side, they are, um, they are working a lot of energy to, to connect with us and we are connecting with, with them. So both sides, it takes a lot of energy to, to produce these results. Again, it doesn't happen overnight. But um, from what I know, from my personal experience of what ectoplasm is, it's a mixture of different uh, bodily fluids, um, which is produced from the medium and the mediums, physical mediums produce a lot more ectoplasm. Everyone can produce ectoplasm, um, but um, physical mediums produce an abundance of it, a lot of it. And so then they can mold and produce apparitions, uh, full form materializations, full, full uh, 
form, for figured forms, arms, legs, hands, faces, and even through those uh, physical forms, if they are able to, they can sometimes produce um, sound. So they can produce, I guess, an ectoplasmic sort of lungs and a voice box. And you think about it, all it is to produce a sound is using air. So of course they would produce a very similar structure of the lungs with inside that um, form. Um, it doesn't have to be lungs, but it can just be like a, a lung um, that would produce then air, which will, pro which will then come out of the ectoplasmic uh, mouth that the forms. So there can be direct voice through, through that way, um, but not always. So yeah, ectoplasm is, is a substance which we're still trying to understand and know more about. It is uh, very bizarre and weird. It's very, very strong, supple, um, filled with energy. Um, and then that form can go back into the body of the medium, typically from the mouth or the nose. And um, if introduced to too much light too soon, it can usually harm and sometimes kill the medium, which is why some, uh, a number of protocols happen in, in seances to make sure that light isn't always introduced. So, for example, in a previous video I had put up about using MP3 players to produce uh, music to raise the energy, um, using a shuffle iPod which doesn't produce a screen or a light, then it's, you know, you're not having any uh, interference. If you're a very good group of people who don't need music and you can just sing uh, nursery rhymes and even happy birthday and all sorts of things laughing together because spirit love to hear music and sound to raise the energy. And through that they can produce a lot more phenomena so i hope this has helped you understand a lot more about ectoplasm and what seances is and i'll catch you again soon